Hello, viewers, and welcome to today's uh, Open Heavens Reflection. My name is uh, Tunde Dada from the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Kingdom Builders Family in Luton. Our topic for today is, is Messenger. And our Bible reading is taken from the book of John, the third chapter. I read from verse 28 through to 31. You yourselves bear me witness that I said, I am not the Christ, but I have been sent before him. He who has the bride is the bridegroom, but the friend of the bridegroom who stands and hears him rejoices greatly because of the bridegroom's voice. Therefore, this joy of mine is fulfilled. He must increase, but I must decrease. He who comes from above is above all. He who is of the earth is earthly and speaks of the earth. He who comes from heaven is above all. A memory verse is taken from uh, the same book of John, chapter 3, verse 28. You yourselves bear me witness that I said, I am not the Christ, but I have been sent before him. Our reflection for today. John the Baptist, who heralded the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, was never a presentious man. Although the people knew that he was a great prophet during his days, but he was always very quick to point out that he was a messenger and that his job was to herald the coming of the Messiah. Who is a messenger? A messenger is someone who is under the authority of a superior individual or body. In essence, John the Baptist knew who sent him and what he was sent to do. He was careful not to take the glory to himself. But you know what? Many ministers of God today would take God's glory to themselves and behave as if they are God. The general overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor Adeboe, suggested that one of the curses of premature death among ministers of God today is the fact that they soon forget that the one who sent them can recall them just as the president of a country can recall his ambassador to another country. We also need to recognize that there is great joy in being a representative of the highest authority the sovereign God. When that, is in, when that is understood clearly, then it is very easy to surrender to him and allow him to direct our path in the manner that suits him. The centurion in the book of Luke understood the significance of this authority and was willing to take the words of command of the Lord and run with it. Remember, Demons will obey you only when they can see your level of obedience to the one who sent you. Are you his messenger? And how well are you representing him that has called you and that has given you life even till this moment? Our key point for today, when kingdom messengers fail to represent the one who has sent them, the ones they are sent to, will continue to misunderstand their message. My prayer for you today is that God will grant you help from above to truly represent him and to truly be his messenger. Have a wonderful day and God bless you.